Uh, welcome back to the Bill Yonka Show. I'm, I'm Bill Yonka, joined by my Uncle Paul, who joins us on the radio each and every week. Carl Maronich, he, uh, he finds people to talk to here at the Farmer's Market. Are we going to talk to Miss Roar here? Well, yeah, yeah, that's kind of the idea. Yeah. But talk to Bill. Uh, just try to honestly answer any question he gives you, and if it's too tough, just signal me, and I'll grab him by the throat. Okay. Sounds and good. Don't worry too much about the honesty thing. <laughs> no, don't worry too much about that. And, well, we, we were talking about events going on around town, and this isn't going on for a little while yet. Yes, yeah. not until the fall. Not until the fall, but you're doing your planning now and uh, getting things going for uh, Chabance, celebrating 155 years. And um, so when's the event going to be? The event will take place on uh, Friday afternoon and all day Saturday, September 11th and 12th. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff lined up. Um, you know, a softball tournament, a bags tournament, a parade. Uh, we'd like to, part of the reason we're out here today is to see if we could get any interest in some of these vendors to possibly come down and set up. That's a good um, idea. We are having an old time tractor show, which I hear has got some pretty neat equipment that uh, uh, I heard that there's going to be between 20 and 30 tractors cool. lined up. So we've definitely got a lot of. Will the mayor be in the dunk tank? We can probably make that happen. <laughs> Paul's so, eyes just lit up there. So people remember the sesquicentennial, and that for you, that was sesquicentennials were in in fashion a few years ago when a lot of these communities were turning 150 years old. How do, how do you top? I think you had 150 years. Yeah, we did. We did. That it's exactly five years ago. So which is which was the plan? We were going to do a homecoming every five years in the town. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously everybody knows it takes a lot of work to put something like that on, and we're just hoping that every year we can make it a little bigger and a little better. Cool. So 155, and we're having a, a party for it, and. Uh, what weekend is it again? September 11th and 12th. September 11th and 12th. And, of course, there's a parade. Correct? There's a parade. Yes. That, that will be Saturday morning. Um, right and early Saturday morning, we're having a uh, 5K for all the runners listening. Oh, good. And uh, all the proceeds for that will go for a young girl from Shabans, Bailey Shingle, that had a um, illness that uh, we're trying to help her family raise money to fight. Very good. Perfect. And I'm gonna, I was at the, uh, the 1954 centennial, okay. and it was kind of unusual at the time because uh, the tradition was that all the men grow beards. And I, I, had, I had never seen my dad with a beard. And my uncle Norm, who was, how old is he now? He's six years older than me, he's 71, could not raise a beard at the time. And he grew his hair long. Which was again unusual in 1954, and he looked like Buffalo Bill or somebody with the long hair, and it, was, it caused quite a stir in Shaban. The uh, 155 years Shaban celebrating this year, and you're trying to gain some more excitement. And really, I think some of these things, the small town festivals, and I think Shaban is a lot like this. But it's not only for the people who are from there or who live there now, it really is an opportunity for the rest of the community to come have a good time in the town and kind of spotlight what that community has going on, isn't it? No, absolutely. I, I think a lot of people are, are scaling back these days, and everybody's yeah. sick of hearing it. But, you know, I mean, it's a quick, short drive. Uh, just uh, next exit south of here where we're at in Kankakee, exit 302, and, um, you know, everybody can come on over and have a good time for the weekend. When there's nothing stopping you from going and having a good time today in Shabantz if you wanted to. Absolutely. You could, you could do that. Gas. Yeah, you, well, you stop somewhere else for gas these days. But, you know, they'll get a gas station. they eventually come on. Yeah. <laughs> the mayor will come through. The mayor will come through for that. And, um, Bonnie, thank you for putting all this work into it. I'm sure there's uh, people in, in Shabantz should be thanking you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you having us on. No problem. Bonnie Rohr from Shabantz originally, but uh, now lives in Bourbonnet and staying connected to her hometown, helping to plan the Has 155 her years That's great. celebration. Yeah. So we'll be back with more we'll on the uh, Saturday morning show here from the Kankakee Farmer's Market. We'll be right back after this.